hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about the major issue that many people are really facing for the latest game which is cyberpunk 2077 okay guys so we need to talk about this a little because i have found some really important things which i need to show you that why people are still facing this issue even after they have given the update for the game but still this problem is is not get sold and many people are still facing this problem okay the problem is flatline error which you already know and for this you definitely have to make sure that your gpu driver is updated and windows also and uh, for many people these two things worked like uh, upgrading their windows and uh, graphic card drivers one more thing you have to do after like complete all these updates press window r okay go to the run command and type as you have see here you have to type prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h okay then enter or okay and continue and you are seeing these all files here these are all corrupted and error files you have to select these files and just shift delete or delete whatever you want to do or delete them and make a restart after that and then try to run the game but they are like completely lying about the game uh, which you really need a 3 gigs vram or less than that but it's not possible because now i'm gonna give you the like a little proof first of all i'm gonna show you the review uh it, this video is also live on my channel so you can go and check that out it's gonna be the previous video from this one okay right now you're gonna see here i moved to the setting and i'm running rtx 2060 and old setting at ultra and uh, i have turned on the dlss okay not right here uh, let me forward it a little bit okay so here everything at ultra and dlss is also on quality okay so uh after done this thing i resume the game and you're gonna see like there is an improvement in fps and i definitely suggest you if you're running this and uh, this graphic card and lower than this definitely make sure you turn on the dlss which will really help you out and you can see right here guys the vram usage is around 5 gigabytes and ram it is currently using 8 gigabyte and they are telling that you need a minimum of 8 gigabyte i'm gonna also show you this this all preset and like lowest possible on 720p and then you will see like they are completely like lying to you okay so the ram user is right here is around 5 gigabyte okay so that means our like 90 percent of not 90 95 percent card is already utilized for this now here the next step that i've done is i've turned on here is the rtx minimum they showed that rtx 2060 can give you can you can run at minimum ray tracing settings okay let me show you okay so here you can see that they have showed that ray tracing minimum 1080p ray tracing medium and 16 gigs ram they really need with rtx 2060 okay so here is that what I wanted to show you. They showed here like minimum settings 1080p low and uh, they recommend the graphic card minimum of GTX 10, uh, like 780 and all the AMD Radeon RX 473 gigabyte. And after that direct they have jumped if they have went to like high settings. Okay, there are three to four presets, low, medium, high and then ultra. And after that we see ray tracing medium and high okay they show this ultra because there is an option for the ray tracing which is the psycho so we seriously don't want to turn that on because that consume a lot of power until you have minimum 10 gigs of vram or maybe more than that okay so for now here let's talk about uh, first of all 2060 which i am running okay you're gonna notice here when i turn the settings to ray tracing medium okay with 2060 they only allowed this thing okay i have here is the option that i'm telling you ray tracing lightning and this is also on medium and i turn on the dlss to me uh, like balanced okay so here you can see the performance dip and everything else now we are consuming around 8.5 to 9 gigs of memory ram and uh, for the memory of the graphic card as you can see right here is that we are consuming 5280 nearly around uh, 5.3 gigabyte 
which is freaking like insane so and they are telling that you can even run this at uh, ray tracing medium even i've turned on the dlss to like balance and this was the performance i'm getting i'm getting around 45 46 sometimes these fps like drop to 30 or maybe 35 but seriously they really need to optimize this game otherwise it's gonna become a crap and uh, the vram usage is really really high in this game and if you are running like three gigs graphic card or four gigs i will definitely suggest you to stay at lowest possible also turn on the dlss otherwise that will cause a, a really big problem and you will get you will have to face the uh the what we say the flatline error up again every time okay so now i'm gonna turn these settings to lowest possible okay now here you can see is i'm gonna go for the ultra performance this is what i was like talking about okay when you turn on this you are like getting 50 to 60 percent of the 1080p so this is it and uh, i'm running this at like lowest lowest possible uh, setting which is available currently as you can see here the graphics looks pretty pretty horrible these are not that great but yeah i'm getting good fps like still if uh, you're running at a 1080p and dlss at quality you are good to go you can play this game the graphics still looks pretty good but here if you like care about the edges and jagginess then this looks really bad i'm getting a right uh, good fps but now see the vram usage right if you notice then we are using around 3.5 gigabyte at this and still above 8 gigabyte of ram so this is also gonna make problem if you have like 8 gigs of ram and uh, that's why you see uh, you will see like many reviews on youtube they minimum use 16 gigs ram so definitely if you're running 8 gigs and with like a 4 gigabyte graphic card or less than that you're definitely gonna face the problem now i'm gonna lower down everything to 720p here seven this is guys this is 720p and now this is you see by yourself still we are using around 3.4 to 3.5 gigabyte of vram and still 9 gigs ram and not lower than that not even like we are using a like six to seven gig gigabyte of normal ram and uh, that was the problem with this game like they seriously do not optimize this even for the lower system but still guys if you are running a four gigs ram oh uh, sorry vram then maybe you will have to like turn on uh, the dlss and please lower down your resolution to 900p which will be a uh, sweet spot for you and uh, dlss on 900p and you're gonna be good with the gameplay and uh, so that th these are all the settings which i wanna gonna recommend you and uh, if you're facing this problem I'll link in the description you can go and check that out there and if you will still not find the solution please wait for the some major updates which they will have to release and uh, this is it for this video if you really find this helpful please give it a thumbs up share like and subscribe please so this will help me a lot and bye bye and i catch you in the next one